One final push to make Nebraska's governor change his mind about accepting a new federal food program. But the governor seems to be standing firm, reiterating that he will not enroll in the extra summer benefits. KETV News Watch 7's Jessica Perez is live with what's next. Jessica? While well, Governor Pillen says he won't change his mind, community advocates say the conversation won't end here and they'll look for other ways to move forward. Is we can Standing like outside arm, Governor Jim like Pillen's man, mansion with signs, head, community advocates heart, still hoped they could change his mind to opt into the summer EBT program before the deadline. It's a moral issue. All, you know, everything that goes on in our community, everybody should have the same rights to a healthy, happy life. For eight days, community advocate Paul Feilman has stood in the cold looking to bring awareness to poverty in the state and asking others to get involved like Senator and Congressional candidate Tony Vargas. The reason I'm here is because I believe it is our moral obligation to fight and to help our neighbors. I also believe it is our fiscal responsibility to bring taxpayer dollars back to Nebraska. Advocates say the summer EBT program would help feed over 150,000 kids across the state. It is not our job to be judgmental of what has caused the situations. No kid ever said, I want to be born into a family that struggles. But Pillen standing firm in his opposition last week. It's another form of welfare that's just simply disagreeing. It's not doing our kids any good. And reiterating today in a statement saying, quote, COVID-19 is over, and Nebraska taxpayers expect that pandemic-era government relief programs will end, too. Only the privileged would look at this program and say, oh, we don't need this. This is a need for the people. Senator Danielle Conrad says this isn't the end. Now is not the time to dismay. Now is not the time to throw up your hands. Now is the time to lean in with more light, more love, and more resolve and figure out how to get the job done. Conrad is not sure what those next steps will look like, but she says she's in conversation with community organizations and other legislature, legislators. Pillen says his decision will not impact kids' access to summer nutrition programs like the USDA Summer Food Services Program. Back to you. Jessica, thank you. Now